Hi, Virgo. First and foremost, the first message here, you're going to hear from an Aquarius or a Capricorn. There's some kind of information here that is unexpected, something you didn't know you are going to become privy to. So I see that first and foremost. So we're going to leave that on the side for now. In general, we do have, it's interesting how this came out because like needle and haystack, right? I feel like you're receiving a once in a lifetime opportunity. You're being chosen out of a group. Somehow you're standing out and this is your general message. So I feel like this is going to be really important for you. So the first card out here, needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. So you're going to receive good karma for some of you because this is the karma card karma you will reap what you have sown and this is going to bring you a sincere wish so i feel like a manifestation of yours is going to become reality okay i'm also seeing a lot of clearing taking place you're going to have massive realizations of past situations especially with the karma energy and it's going to help you move forward. I feel like a lot of old energies are just kind of coming full circle and being closed out. You're cycling out of this. In love, we're going to pull tarot too, by the way. You are highly thought of came out second, but I really like this energy, okay? First thing out, interesting too, because Capricorn had two of these cards and it's a huge deck. So, and that's what she said, right? Wink, wink. Changes in your life in love interesting first and foremost here you have someone that was not appreciating you they're going to appreciate you in the coming period but i feel like you're you are connecting to someone new there's a person who has the hots for you they like you quite a bit and we're going to look into this and so when i ask about material energy it looks like you're getting a rainbow okay so this says <laughs> Um, the most difficult part of a situation is over, okay? This is having to do with material realm. So however you spend your time, however you make your coin, okay? We're going to take a look at that. But you do have bread, period of prosperity, and abundance is coming in. I feel like your finances are tied to like uh, maybe a Capricorn or you guys have some sort of sharing of resources, uh, just as a side note here. So let's see. What is this good karma? The sincere wish that's going to be granted for Virgo. Yeah, it's love. It's love. It's romance. You've got a person. Justice. This is your justice. Holy moly. Your sincere, your sincere wish is a partner that you've been dreaming of. Okay. So that could be a Libra, an Aries, maybe a water sign. This is Scorpio energy for me specifically, but you know, yeah, you're going to be getting your fantastic home life. You're making things sincerely. I'm hearing sincere, sincerely legal. <laughs> that sounds really interesting. It's like meshing legal and emotion. So maybe that's what you're doing. Something is becoming more serious here. Yeah, this is your good karma, some kind of partner, some relationship, some home life. Okay, I see you spending a lot of time with a person here. This could be someone that you're like fantasizing about. They're fantasizing about you. Where's where's Virgo in this energy? Someone is your good karma. Wow. You are the high priestess, the lovers, the king of wands. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of desire here. Wow. So I do feel like there's a bunch of flirtatious energy coming in big time. I do feel like there's a lot of fantasy going on here with one another. Where's Virgo in this again? Yeah, high priestess. I'm telling you, this is your home life with a person. This, some of you could be like same, same gender. That's not everybody, obviously, but we do have this energy and it's kind of giving. You could just be in the same energy with this person and you're vibing really well. Okay. Uh, your home life wishes and concerns are going to come to fruition here. Where's the person in this energy, please? Page of Wands. The Ten of Wands and the Queen of Cups with the Ace of Swords. 
You have the king and queen of cups. Yep. There's a lot of communication here. This looks like it could be very, very serious, especially if you've been building on this relationship just prior. This is going to keep growing here. <laughs> wow. So that's your sincere wish being granted. You will reap what you have sown. Okay. And it looks pretty good if you ask me. I didn't see anything bad there. So let's go ahead and see your love situation specifically. What is this change, right? We got changes going on. What is this change in Virgo's love life? What's changing? Five of Pentacles. I'm covering that up a little bit. And the Eight of Pentacles. Well, here's the deal. You've been doing something that has proven to be quite futile for you. Your efforts have been falling by the wayside. You may have been dealing with a person that was not reciprocating. You could have been trying to disconnect from this individual for quite some time. Okay. It looks like you feel, you know, um, I'm hearing a penny late and a dollar short. That's not even how it goes. So this could be a financial concern that you've had with a partner, a person. Maybe they're not up to par for you or you need someone that's more balanced here. Okay. But anyway, just side note on that. I see that you're finally moving past working on something that's not serving you, Virgo. And that's your energy. You've been building here. You've been trying to make something happen. Come to find out the cup had a hole in the bottom and all the water you were pouring into it, all the emo emotion, all the fuel was just coming right out the bottom. Okay. So I do see that this is a massive realization here. And this is what you're getting over. You're moving past this. Now, if there is someone that you kind of already disconnected from and you were doing this, like you were the one putting all the efforts here. Well, guess what? They're going to to start feeling like oh actually Virgo was really sweet and kind and caring and did do everything and bent over backwards for me and they're going to be realizing this and I don't know if you should care about that or not to be honest all right maybe that's part of your karma <laughs> like someone realizing this okay so yeah I do see that I'm also seeing success in your finances by the way so we're going to get to that too but let's see why you're highly thought of here let's see who this is who's thinking highly of Virgo, a Pisces, <laughs> Eight of Swords. Okay, wow. So you have Capricorn, twelfth house, and Uranus. Um, there's some sort of spiritual realization that is coming in here, Virgo. Didn't mean to hit that, but that's what happened. Yeah, there's going to be a spiritual realization with a person. Where's Virgo in this energy? There's a person who cannot stop thinking about you. You're constantly on their mind big time. They think that you guys are soulmates or they're starting to feel this way. They're like trying to solve a puzzle or a riddle with you. I see like heightened energy, very charged up and kind of, you know, like oomph, like zest, like zeal, like attraction. <laughs> okay. So you're the king of wands in the energy and the seven of wands. You look like a Leo here. Okay. You could be a little guarded or defensive about a situation just yet. Even if you do feel some type of way, like you may feel attracted as well. You could feel this way, but you're cautious, right? You're cautious about an individual. So what does this person want with Virgo? They want the magish. What else? And they want... The nine of wands. Yeah, there's a person who's trying to figure you out. Lots of Leo energy all of a sudden. This person's really trying to figure you out here. You guys are both a bit guarded like against the situation or each other. But it, I see that you're, they're just fascinated here with you. Wow. I, are they like obsessing here? It's like somehow you've accessed their brain waves, their psyche. Like this is very deep seated energy here. This could be someone far, far away from you with the 12th house energy or stuck somewhere. What does Virgo want with this person? Hey, yeah, you want the queen of cups with them? Mm-hmm. And the world card. What does Virgo want with this person? The 10 of swords. The tower. Wow. Wow. Six of Wands, the Four of Cups. Okay. 
someone here is not trying to let you go in love first and foremost. Okay. This person is thinking about keeping you where you are or making you stay. This could be a, another mutable energy or this person's energy is very wishy-washy. So this could be like a Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, something like this. Um, but we also have another energy is what it looks. And someone is coming in very strongly. It's helping you disconnect here. What's coming in for Virgo in love? The Hermit. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Yep. Six of Wands and the Tower. You guys have something about family that's clearing out here as well. It's like maybe there was karma between you and a family member. But here's your new beginning, like I said. All right. Yeah. Huge attraction with you and a person. Like I said, too, this could be like a fire energy person, heavy fire. But it's speaking of the passion and like really a lot of vibes. Okay. This is specifically for Virgo that there's a new energy here. It's come in all over the place. Huge opportunity. Someone is fantasizing heavily here. Do you mind? Should we pull on this new energy person? Because it feels like you have two people here. Okay. If you don't have one just yet, it's like, it. I feel like you should already have someone, Virgo. If this is your reading, this is what this feels like to me. All right. So fire energy is here very heavily. A lot of Leo. Someone could have a Leo vibe about them. A Leo placement. Maybe some Aries. Um, but it feels very like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain. Who's this new person coming into Virgo's love energy, please, spirit? It is Knight of Pentacles. Justice. Yeah, this is your justice. So here's your justice. I'm telling you. You feel like this is a person that's not really interested or they feel this way about you. They're like, oh, Virgo's not even looking at me or something of this matter here. Actually, they are. It looks like, yeah, world card. There's a new person, but you're not making it about them here. Yeah, this is very friendly, very casual. Someone's fantasizing about you. Yeah, third house, Mars, and Cancer, again, with the, with the three of cups. Someone is fantasizing about you here. It's a friend or someone that you speak to. Wow. Uh... The energy exchange between you and this person is not full blown. Like it's not, it's more subtle or it's um very inconspicuous is the energy I'm picking up here. This, this person and you do not have equal exchange. It feels this way, but the passion, the desire is freaking intense. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing. There's someone that's speaking to you, talking to you. Um, let me see. How will Virgo know who this is? Because of the Nine of Swords, the Justice, and the Chariot. Something about legalities here. This could be someone who is trying to file something in the court system. They could work uh, for some sort of legal field even. Ace of Cups. Yeah, it's a new energy. It's a freaking new energy. What is this? How will Virgo know who this is? Something identifying for Virgo. Fool card. Brand new. Yeah, queen of wands. I feel like this person speaks very matter of fact, whoever this is. Um, fourth house, Mars, and Taurus. They speak very matter of fact. Yeah, queen of cups. You guys have like a mutual feeling here. So the two of cups. Could be some travel involved for some of you. Oh. The reason that you know who this is is because something is not fair and balanced in your exchange with them. But it's very tense. Like I feel some tension and passion here. So someone is thinking about you in that kind of way. Big time. All right. Big friggin time. So if you think that someone thinks that way about you, they do. Mm -hmm. If you're like, oh, does this person like me? Yes, probably more than that. I feel like you guys are picking up on each other's energy as well, psychically speaking. So we're at almost 15 here. So rainbow, the most difficult part of a situation is over and bread, period of prosperity and abundance in your material 
energy. So what is coming in here? Because it looks like it's getting better. By the way, this was on the bottom. Temporary problems and good luck. Also good news. Yeah, you have better energy coming in, Virgo, here. So that's what I want to tell you first up. What is the good vibe coming in for Virgo with this energy? What is this? It is the High Priestess. Yeah, and I was going to tell you this is giving very Pisces. And you have that quite a bit here. Okay, wow. Yeah, emotional satisfaction. Whatever is happening here, your home life is going to be your energy of like spiritual peace or love or compassion here. Your family and you are getting on very well. The potential is huge regarding your material world here, Virgo. Maybe you know that. Some of you guys are intuitively led. You could be psychic. Maybe you're getting into, you know, your spiritual gifts here because I do see a lot of 12th house energy in your vibe. And this would be that you are awakening to some sort of gifts. Maybe you do this for work for some, okay? You could be doing that. Maybe you're getting into this. So what is this? This is a period of peace and relaxation for you. Something has paid off. Yeah. So here's the, um, oh, the five of cups, the temperance and the devil. Who is this? You guys have like Scorpio, Sagittarius, uh, Capricorn energy. Yeah, you're making peace here. All right. There's a person that's been kind of haunting you. They've been really maybe pushing your boundaries. Um, it's been affecting you. I feel like it's been affecting your even finances or there's like arguments about this arguments about the home life or just tension there this is being alleviated i'm hearing capricorn again yeah maybe it is a capricorn but it looks like you guys are working something out what's going to happen with this energy actually yeah what's going to happen here because you're making peace with like a loss yeah ace of swords it's done it's over whatever was happening there's there's something that you're cutting out or someone that you're cutting off there's going to be a lot more clarity here it feels like you know i don't know if you're dealing with someone maybe at work or someone that you talk to that tells you you don't know what you're talking about you don't know anything or you're you know you didn't do this right you didn't do that right this is ending who is this Someone here needs to be stopped, like spoken to because it's destroying your peace. Capricorn had something similar. Maybe you have a placement in Capricorn because Capricorn had somebody like that too. You're a safe space here for someone. Where is Virgo in this energy? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, right. Mm -hmm. Something's going bad for someone and your period of that is done. That's why you have the most difficult part of a situation is over. You're finally going to reap some sort of rewards or you already did. That's why you have abundance. Abundance of what, right? Well, for you, it looks like peace, happiness, you know, proper home life. Everything that you want is in order. Maybe not all the, you know, things in excess is in order. Like, let's say that you have what you need here at home. Like, it feels good. I'm getting mostly like a good vibe there so what's this yeah there we go <laughs> why does it take so long okay so where is uh what's leaving here in virgo's energy I, I mean i feel like we saw that it's a ten of swords yeah you may have felt like you hit rock bottom but you're getting back into gear here okay so your work is paying off your dedication is paying off you know that you have more potential here so i would lean into that but this is a virgo who's able to have you know play and work energy and having balance therein because something else is ending it's done it was a temporary issue a temporary concern a temporary problem actually can we see what was involved there was it a person it feels like a person that was nine of wands knight of pentacles okay yeah you give you were doing something that you continuously I don't know if you needed more information or this person did, but it looks like you were participating in something that was not benefiting you. You could have incurred some sort of a loss here, maybe financially for some, but it looks like you know better or now you know better. What's this involving? You were hesitating stopping something. Yeah, you were hesitating like... Um, like you were really hanging in there, even though you knew it was done, it was over, you had to get out. That's what that is, magician. Mm -hmm. This is all going behind you here. Some of you guys, there's some like subconscious things that are coming up that you're clearing regarding this. Past pains, hurts, and things like that. 
Okay. So you're going to have a massive realization that you don't have to do something the same way over and over. Yeah. You were dedicated for what? Like you hung in there for what? At your detriment. That's done. Okay. Thank you so much, Virgo. Feel free to check out the place. And I'll see you next time.